Florida is great. Just a, a beautiful place to live. I was very comfortable in Holland, but over here I can be completely focused on what I have to do. There's nobody and nothing that I have to worry about when I'm in training camp. That's another reason why I love training in Florida so much. You can be in the gym training and come down here and it's like a, being on a holiday. It makes training so much easier. You roll out of bed in the morning, you see the sun and you're ready to go. You know, in, in Holland you wake up, it's freezing or it's raining, it's snowing and you're like, ah, yeah, no, not today. But over here it's, it's just great. I've been in the UFC for seven, eight years now, but I'm only 28. People haven't seen the best yet. The best is yet to come. I was already looking to make the transition to the US for a while. Certain things were missing in my training camp. Finally, last year, you know, I, I lost to Alex Overeem, and I was like, if you stay in Holland now, you're never gonna know. You're, nobody will ever see how good you can really get. So. Just go for it, and I, I couldn't be happier with that decision. What sets the Black Zillions apart from all the other gyms? Um, we, we, we just got great energy in the gym every single day. We just bring each other to a higher level. You guys fired up? Fired up! Fired up! Fired up! 25, 30 fights we've had, we've only lost two. Iron sharpens iron. There's a lot of iron around here. All right, guys, let's go. High pace, aggressive. I always improve here, man. There's, training is so good. Training partners are great. They go frame, frame. Nice job. I got some of the best coaches in the world. It's, it's hard not to improve. Nice. Good tactics. Great job, Seven. This is just like really intense. I always get nervous before these rounds because you know what's coming. Go, come on. Push it. Let's go. Strong all the way through. Stefan's awesome to work with. He's really coachable, always comes in hungry to train. He's got a great attitude, and as a coach, that's what you want to be around. And go, quick hands, come on. Explosion is everything, you know, especially for me. You cannot be slow because you're an easy target. You need to be explosive. I think Stefan's conditioning in a fight against Bigfoot could make or break the night, and I think for us it's going to make the night because for a heavyweight, he does have a very good gas tank. Time good. We're on the hunt for Bigfoot, so we gotta be in shape to put him out. Who's the best? I know Hey guys, what's going on? Ready to eat? We just trained, so now I need to uh, refuel, and uh, this is the place that takes care of 75% of my meals. If I would have to do all the cooking myself or your mom, I eat. You'd be a professional chef. Yeah. <laughs> My manager really helped me out when I came over here. Biggest chef doesn't pay what being a UFC fighter does, exactly. though. I was like, yeah, we need to find a place to live. And he told me, yeah, no worries about that, because you can, you know, start up with us. It's the best going on on fight week with a heavyweight. You get to eat the whole time. Stefan's great. He's sweet. Happy to be feeding him, keeping him lean and mean and going strong for the fight coming up in May. Oh, you call for it? You know, every time he comes in here, everybody's like, who's that, who's that? You know, oh, I want to stand next to him. And he's definitely uh, created a, a following here, so it's kind of nice. It's great. It's Love happiness. It. <laughs> These are so good. There's a ton of things you can do over here to uh, relax in between sessions and the weekend. Right on your right. There he goes. Here he goes. That's about an eight footer. A little further, too, a bigger one. See ya? It's very relaxing to, to see all the nature and then the gators, the birds, turtles, fish. It's, it's very cool. Oh, you got a friend. Those taste good. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, dude. <laughs> you don't think about throwing at all, and that's why we go out and do these kind of things a lot. Great. When you have the ocean, pool, glades, you know, fish, you can go ride airboats, drive them yourself. It's good stuff. This is the last video the UFC ever does of me. You know what happened. We're somewhere in the Everglades. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drive the boat now. Big Gator's going to eat us, probably. I've been training since I was 14 years old, so I'm, I'm not just going to give up on that. There were definitely moments where I thought about giving up, not fight anymore and do something else, but 
Something always kept me going because I just love this too much. We filled some holes in my game over the last year over here in, in South Florida with the Black Zoins. Everything is gonna pay off. You know, I'm, I'm back and there's no doubt in my mind that I'm gonna win this fight. Good, cover, nice. Stefan can fight anywhere, standing or on the ground. So, you know, whether we take it to the ground or, or maybe even Bigfoot takes it to the ground, we'll, we'll be ready for all areas of the game. Pat it in. That was nice. Everybody loves the fast cap. He's developed a ton on, on the ground fighting techniques since he's been here at the Black Stadiums. I just want, you know, I want him to know that we fully believe for him just to go for it. That's the biggest reason why I lost my last fight. I just was holding back too much, doubting too much. But if I if I just go in there, let everything come out, don't think too much, then he's going down in the first. I'm very proud to represent my country. I think that the fans are gonna make it one big party. They're gonna support the Dutch fighters, all three of us on the card, and I can't wait to put down a great performance in front of a red, white, and blue arena. He's going down, it's simple as that.